Columbia hired two people to test gear in the most extreme conditions on earth. The directors of toughness. My name is Mark Chase, and I'm an adrenaline junkie from the UK. And I'm Faith Briggs, a documentary filmmaker and a runner from Brooklyn. We beat out thousands of applicants to land our dream job. Travel the world and test gear for Columbia Sportswear. Last trip, we met Manchester United legend Dennis Irwin, crossed Iceland's glaciers and took a dip in the infamous Glacier Lagoon. We are definitely ready for our next mission. We touched down in the Yukon and I'm super excited to find out what our next adventure is going to be. Hey guys, welcome to the Yukon. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Faith, I'm Mark. Oh, I'm Mark as well. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Mark Stenzik and I'm the lead guide for Up North Adventures. Mark and Faith, we've got a serious challenge picked out for you. Tomorrow morning, we're going to fly you by bush plane to Coal Lake. There you'll have to build your own snow shelter and spend the night. From there you'll travel west on foot up through Windy Pass to Fish Lake where you'll spend a second night. We'll expect you back here at base camp by noon on the third day. The Yukon is home to some of the harshest weather on the planet. You'll need all the cold weather gear you brought with you along with some wilderness survival skills to make it through this challenge. So today we'll do a crash course to help you on your way. Oh my god. <laughs> there is no way that we're going to survive uh, the next three days if we don't have the right gear with us. Mark's given us a reasonable understanding of how to survive out here in the Yukon, and I think we're going to need every little bit of advice. Let the adventure begin. When we were flying into Coal Lake, it was hard to do anything but admire the scenery. It really wasn't until the pilot took off that I was like, oh, this just got real. The plane just left and we are about to start our trek. Yeah, I think we're probably going to have to cut today a bit short actually and make a shelter for tonight because as soon as that sun goes down, the temperature is going to plummet. We are going to build a Quincy, which is a little bit like an igloo. You pack the snow together and then hollow it out and it gives you a pretty good shelter from the outside. That looks good. I think just go straight back and I'm gonna keep piling up on the right. Great. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. We've been working pretty hard for the last hour or so. Finishing up our shelter. That's where Faith and I are gonna be sleeping tonight. It is just about bedtime. First day of our wilderness trek in the Yukon. And yeah, we're pretty excited. It's freezing outside. I can't describe to you how cold it is outside. No. But in here, no gloves, I'm warm. So I'm pretty, pretty impressed with our handiwork. Enjoying such clear skies for the Northern Lights was incredible. However, the next morning, we woke up to a very different picture. It's freezing fog. It feels a bit like you're inside a cloud and everything that they touch, it just seems to get a sheet of ice over immediately. Not what you want to see when you've got a long hike ahead of you. This is the most time outside in the cold I've ever spent in my life. So I'm definitely just trying to keep up the spirit and keep moving. We are certainly deeper into the wilderness here. It's been pretty gnarly out here, pretty brutal. But interestingly, I've been quite warm throughout this whole uh, experience. With the right gear, I guess, you can have fun in the cold and that's uh, nothing I would have said beforehand. We're heading down towards Windy Pass at the moment. We've got quite a lot to do before we can bed down for the night and not a lot of time to do it in. And then hopefully we'll get through another cold night in the Yukon. Looking at where we are, we're probably gonna opt for a lean-to shelter and leave a fire running the whole night. We're here in the lean-to, expertly built by Mark Chase over here. How are you feeling about it? I mean, it's still up. <laughs> it looks great, it feels great. We've got our fire going, our shelter built, and we're gonna call it a night. It's minus two Fahrenheit, but uh, we made it through and we're still smiling. Gonna finish packing up this morning 
We've got a lot of ground to put behind us if we're going to meet Mark at midday. I was trying to mentally prepare for a really tough day of full trekking all day, but as we got down to the lake, all of a sudden, sled dog showed up. It was the coolest thing. Hey buddy, welcome to the lake. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's what we should be doing. Well, that's what you will be doing. You guys huh? have been doing such a great job. We brought you a Yukon taxi. <laughs> oh, amazing. Dog sledding the last couple of miles across the lake here was just incredible. I just never imagined that was going to happen. and It was so much fun. Having spent the last two nights and three days out in the Yukon wilderness, I'm really impressed with what we managed to achieve. To be able to trek in snowshoes, sleep outside, and then have an awesome end with sled dogs was just the perfect end to an epic adventure. Hey guys, Mark and Faith here. Want to see the gear that kept us warm and dry in the Canadian Arctic? Click here or here. World-class trails don't just magically appear. Meet the kids behind the Yukon Trails that the pro bikers call freaking ridiculous. If you're late to the game, watch our Iceland adventure here. Or hit the subscribe button to join us on our next adventure.